The following trailer is rated S for spoilers for a 12-year-old game. And also for the movie Nope, I guess? It'll probably make more sense in context. From the studio, known for creating some of the best family-friendly adventures of all time, comes a mid-tier platformer basically just designed to keep your thumbs busy while you wait for them to drop the game you're really excited about. Come on, Link. Any day now. <laughs> Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Deluxe. Take control of everyone's favorite blowjob queen as Kirby deluxely returns to Dreamland on a semi-new quest. And more importantly, pimping some randos ride. We hooked you up with these graphics. What are these? It's a heart rate and EKG rhythm. Is this a healthy heartbeat? Um, no. <laughs> Decimate entire biomes as you huff and or puff your way through familiar terrain like forest land, desert land, and going to Best Buy because you rage broke your TV land. Until the story takes the expected hard turn into cosmic horror, which happens at the end of every Kirby game, but still always feels super out of left field. Wait, wasn't I fighting a tree with a face like a minute ago? Oh, I still am! I still am! Ah, uh, happy Earth Day to me, I guess. Suck and swallow your way through Dreamland solo, or enlist some friends to tag along in multiplayer mode, turning a reasonably tough one-on-one -on -one final fight into a four-on-one -on bloodbath. Stop! <laughs> He's already dead! Then head over to Magoland, a theme park built by the game's villain, where you can find the mini-bosses you've killed, like a version of Main Street USA that's populated with the souls of the damned. Wait, that might just be the plot of Kingdom Hearts. Then ruin all your friendships in Curb v Curb Battle Royale as you turn your former allies into just the most adorable corpses while wearing their skin as a mask and a gruesome display of power. <sighs> we get it, you sicko. You're good at mini games. Enough with the Leatherface impression already. Next, make some room, because Kirby's got a whole lot of new powers to gobble up. Okay, it's only two new powers and they're basically just Diglett and Gundam ripoffs. Look, the creative team at Nintendo is just really busy this month, okay? Cool. Flow through mind-numbingly easy levels by committing casual identity theft as you steal the power of whatever bozo is unlucky enough to be sucked into your hellish maw, only to immediately ditch it for a different power because you never outgrew your childlike attention. Oh, look, a new power. Then go straight up Super Saiyan with new mega abilities that will raise the earth and all the cute woodland creatures around you, throwing them into your screen like you're playing Smash Bros against a toddler. In gameplay that gives you what you've always wanted from a Kirby game, utter destruction and mayhem, turning Kirby into what he's always potentially been, an eldritch god hell-bent on wiping out existence. I am Kirby Everlasting, and when I open my mouth, I shall sing the song that ends all of time itself. Finally get to play the only part of the game that's interesting, a two-hour epilogue where you help the bad guy get his groove back the old-fashioned way by eating a really big space apple. Talk about a cosmic crisp. Wait, so you're saying that first we kill and eat a bunch of innocent little critters just to fix a boat, then it turns out we've been helping the game's villain the entire time, who we then betray even though he was super nice to us and let us hang out in his theme park? And then we give his evil powers back to him even though he definitely hasn't learned his lesson yet? Oh my gosh, it's all making sense. Kirby is the bad guy. He has been all along, and we've been helping him. We need to hurry. We've got to tell the world before Nintendo can- Starring Mother Sucker, Kirkland Brand Orko, Pirates of the Kerbabian, The Metalorian, Big Bird, Bigger Bird, Red Spyro, washed up WWE heels, and all the stupid hats you can eat. Curb your enthusiasm. The toughest challenge in this game is not thinking too hard about how Kirby swallows his enemies whole like the alien from Nope. You just know those guys are all in there being slowly digested alive. Ugh. You know what there's been loads of this year? Remakes. But are there so many that it's killing creativity in games? 
We get all up in that discourse in the first episode of The Kurt Locker. Click the box on the right to watch now. Where is everybody going? Bingo. If you see a long tunnel, stay away from the light. Zombie slang isn't for fun. Well, maybe a little. Gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger.